When optimizing a model, you want to only have the geometry where you need it and have localized detail. And sometimes that means that you need to reduce geometry in other areas where it's not needed. And I've found a, a good tool for this is using four point triangles. Now that's just a, a term that I've used, but it's really a four point polygon, but it's in the shape of a triangle. And one example that I can show on um, this head is right here. This is in the shape of a triangle right here, but this extra point right here makes it a four point triangle. Okay, so what I thought we could do is take a look at um, creating four point triangles uh, to help reduce geometry. Now in this head, we need, um, you know, we need a, a fair amount of detail in the face, but back here, we're not really needing this much uh, detail to uh, create this shape for the head. So what I can do is come over here and grab these three points and weld them together. And I'm just going to get rid of, I'm slowly getting rid of lots of uh, geometry here. Okay. Knowing that this is a subpatch object, I'm not really getting rid of two polygons. I'm really getting rid of nine, 18 polygons. I'm getting rid of 18 polygons for every pair that I get rid of. And let's say we're, we're going to stop it. Uh, there. Now, uh, by welding those together, I created some two-point polys, not a problem. W for statistics, move over to polygons, select the two-point polys, delete, and we're good to go. Now, I've got triangles. I don't like working with triangles on my subpatch meshes, but we're gonna, just going to convert these two tries by merging, and what we've created is a four-point triangle. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing back here, shift Z to merge. So, what I've done is gone from four polygons to three to two. Okay, so I was able to remove by using this four point try, I was able to remove two rows, two, two complete rows, and then all the way back here. And then I went ahead and, and had it pick back up because I need more geometry down in here. But for the back of the head, I'm able to get and actually, it's, I would have to tweak these points to kind of smooth this out because there's more points holding it um, into shape. Um, so by reducing it, it actually made it easier to get a, sm a nice smooth curve. Okay? So that's just a quick example of uh, working with a four-point try. And it should give you some ideas of how you can go from lots of geometry to little bit of geometry. I'll show one more example. Um, I'm just going to draw a box that has two segments and I'll uh, a flat plane that has two segments and one that has one okay now um, probably the most obvious thing to do would be to select these four polygons hit P and then select these and hit P and now I've got um, I've been able to go from let me uh, raise it up just so we're not seeing the our axis there um, if we if we can see, we got two to one, okay? So we were able to reduce down from uh, two rows down to one row. But then we introduced this triangle and it's really not necessary. I'm gonna undo, um, let me raise this up just so that we're not seeing the, the black line cutting through. Okay, so let's do the same thing. We'll create the four points to make a polygon. Instead of making this a triangle, I'm just gonna select this and this and weld it together. So now we've got all quads, okay, all four point polys. So it's um, just another way of working. It allows me to reduce down from two rows to one. Uh, very similar to what I was doing here, okay, just wanting to reduce the geometry and taking advantage of this four point try, or it's just a, a quad in the shape, a four point polygon in the shape of a triangle, uh, and it allows us to reduce down from four to two, okay? So we're going from four polys to two polys. Uh, we have the, the transition point, which is three, but it's just one transition point, and then we're good to go. And it's a good way of reducing geometry in areas that you um, don't need it.